I work in various areas of MRI research, including functional and diffusion MRI. But I'm also really interested in seeing MRI techniques transfer to a clinical setting, where they can make a real difference. The University of Vermont is one of 21 sites taking part in the ABCD study. It's the largest study of its kind in the US. And to be eligible, we had to meet stringent technology requirements. It was important to have state-of-the-art MRI protocols. We'd already upgraded our Achiever 3T to the digital D-Stream platform, and we were using the 32-channel head coil. We were keen to build on our existing collaboration with Philips, and we approached them about working on a multiband solution. So we needed high spatial and high temporal resolution. We really got the impression that Philips had their best engineers working on this development, and they were investing a lot of resources. We're in touch on a weekly basis and progress was fast. With multiband sense, we're imaging six times faster for a functional MRI, with the option to move this up to eight. This means we can really push the spatial and temporal resolution. For diffusion imaging, we're using an acceleration factor of three, although four is possible. For the ABCD study, we have really high specifications, including the use of high B values and many diffusion directions. But we need to acquire all of this data in less than 10 minutes. This is something that we couldn't do without using multiband sense. Overall, we see a relatively small impact on signal to noise ratio for such large acceleration factors. I would really recommend multiband sense for all future research study protocols that involve functional or diffusion MRI. The ABCD study is following 11,500 children in the US from ages 9 or 10 through to age 20. Here at UVM, we're studying 550 of them. It's a hugely complex undertaking that is going to generate masses of rich data. The ultimate goal is to understand adolescent neurodevelopment. And because the study is longitudinal, we're hoping to see how certain neuromarkers impact subjects as they grow up in terms of developing certain behaviours or mental health conditions. There's so much potential for using the data to develop predictive profiles, which may help identify children at risk and eventually give rise to personalised treatments and preventative interventions. Neuroimaging is a big part of the study. When it became clear that development work was necessary, Philips really rose to the challenge and invested some excellent resources. Multiband Sense is a complex sequence, but with Philips' expertise and commitment, we managed to meet the tight time constraint. Without Multiband Sense, we wouldn't have been eligible to participate in the ABCD study. But having it in the protocol means UVM can play a role in what is probably one of the largest child development studies ever attempted. Being able to back up psychological testing and social observations with such insightful neuroimaging data is phenomenal. Multiband Sense is, in my opinion, the future of such studies.